Dana, could you come here for a moment, please? Sure. What's up? Oh, I was going through Caleb's agenda here, and it's it says he's got a science test on on Monday, and I know we've got that uh, big camping trip this week. Most parents do want to be involved in their child's learning, and many are involved in ways that may not be readily visible to teachers. And, uh, you know, we can shorten that hiking trip on Saturday and have, yeah, have, him, help him go through some of his work there. This is green, which seems bad, so let's have an hour Okay. They see themselves supporting the school in many ways through activities that support the learning of their children, whether that's taking place at home, in the school, or in the larger community. First to it, guys, first to it. Be sure, Sawyer. For some parents, it's simply not possible to be in the school often, and depending on what their experience was in school, they may not feel completely comfortable being there. But that doesn't mean that they're not supportive or caring parents. Getting involved in the school, I'd love to more, but you know, having to work during the day just doesn't give me the opportunity to get there. Uh, what I do to, to get involved in my son's life and uh, in the community is I, I coach soccer in the summer and I coach him, him and his team uh, hockey in the winter. Honey, I gotta go. I'm like... Teachers need to be aware of the constraints of everyday life, such as work schedules, employment issues, caring for other children or elderly parents at home, economic hardship, lack of transportation, etc. We don't have the money. We just don't. What are we going to do? I don't know. We'll talk about it later. See you. Okay. See you, kids. Love you. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hi, Mrs. Paul. Yes, it is. Hi, this is Mrs. Carlton from the school. Oh, hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Well, I'm good. Listen, I'm just calling because I didn't get a permission form back from Jessica for the field trip tomorrow. Oh, Jess. Permission slip for a field trip? Oh, I'm so sorry, Mom, but it's in, I think it's in my front pa pocket of my backpack. Oh, I see it right here. I'm so sorry we didn't send that in. That's okay. I know how things can get busy. Oh, that's for sure. We need to be understanding and helpful when our institutional expectations can't be met in the way we sometimes expect. It's very important to build relationships with the students early in the year, welcome your parents in, as their support and their input is so valuable to build the success for the student support throughout the school year. We had just moved into the community, which is already a significant transition, and on top of that, our son started in a new school. And it was great that we were invited in. Uh, just that contact point to build relationships with teachers and with the parents in the community was just a great thing. It's a cat. Hey Donna, hi Tara, how are you? I'm good. What do you have for me today? Oh, I've got some work to, for you to do, but before we start, I just want to show you something that Eden did today. We have a new story, and it's got a few really challenging words for him, and he read it all by himself. Awesome. He did fantastic. We support parents by being positive and celebrating successes, big and small, with the families and with the students. In first, what do you see? I see a tree. What do you see? I see a deer. Drinking the water. Good, you see the challenge. Mm. Generally, I love teachers. I think they're amazing. And I so appreciate their commitment to teach with excellence and to under, really try to understand my child and the other students. And also, they, they really help my child to be successful. Stop is down. Which way's left? You're right. Which way's right? Oh, good job. Should we go again? Yes. Off you go. We had a great day today. We did some reading and some math. Didn't we? We had a good day today, Aiden. Didn't you have fun in kindergarten? It was fun in kindergarten. Yeah. Can you say bye? Can you say bye?